Nine women have been rescued from a Turkish reality show. <laughs> okay. Leave it to Turkey to do a reality show where women need to be rescued. Right, right. Um, let me explain what it is. So nine women were chosen to be part of this reality television show, which wasn't on television at all. They thought that they were going to do a Big Brother type show. All right. Mm -hmm. So instead, pictures of the women posing in bathing suits and exercising were distributed on the Internet on a Turkish language website. And it allowed users to vote on which woman they like and they were able to follow them. And for an extra charge, uh, they would be able to see more images of the women through their mobile phones. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. I love this story. Okay. And I'm going to say something controversial. I love what the guys did. Except for when they wouldn't let him go, of course. <laughs> and they broke the law, and that's out out outrageous, okay? But here's what. They said, all right, look, you're going to be famous. Come on TV, right? And the girls all signed up. One of the women, one of the moms of the girls said, oh, we thought our daughter was going to be famous. That's why we signed up. It wasn't even about the money. It was about the fame, okay? Mm -hmm. So then they go, then they find out later, ha-ha, you're not on TV. You're on the Internet, mm -hmm. okay? So all of a sudden, they're outraged. Why? You're willing to pimp yourself out on TV, so now that you find out you're pimping yourself out on the internet, it's not good enough. It, like, what I love about it is how it shows that their morality is connected to how much money or fame that they're going to get. Mm -hmm. Like, they didn't mind pimping themselves out, but if it's for less fame, well, I didn't sign up for that. Mm -hmm. That's outrageous and immoral. And so then they tried to run away, and then that's where it got dicey. And then the guys wouldn't let them go. Okay, right. then we got an issue. Okay, <laughs> obviously you can't do that. That's ridiculous. Yeah, they said if you're if you're going to try to leave, you have to pay a fine of $33,000 and <laughs> No, uh, no, no. And they can do that too. And they signed a contract and the woman did sign the contract. And they're never going to collect on that money. That's ridiculous. Uh -huh. But when the woman says, "Hey, listen, you know what? I'm done and I'm going to leave this house." Of course, you have to let her go. It's outrageous not to let her go. But the original scam, I have no problems with. What do you mean you don't have a problem with? None. These None. women No, look. They thought they were going to be on television. That's why they signed up for it. Aww. I know, I know. Aww. No, Jake, you're being so wrong right now. What are you talking about? I was going to show you my boobies for television, yeah, look, but if you're only putting me on the hey. internet, then I don't want to show my boobies. That's so immoral. How does that make any Dude, sense? Dude, if that's what floats their boat, that's what floats their boat. That's what they thought they were signing on for. Okay. okay? No, no, and no. You have a fair point. You do. Like, so if they go to court and they say, hey, listen, this isn't what I signed up for. They, this contract is not right. Hence, they owe me damages. Okay, if I'm the judge, I'm definitely hearing that case, right? right? But just spare me the outrage. That's all I'm saying. No, I would be outraged. If I came into the studio and you hired me and you said, all right, our show's on television, and I'm thinking, oh, dude, you know, I'm, I'm going to be on television. My, my career is beginning, and then I know, right? And I find out we're only on the Internet. I'm going to panic. I'm going to be like, what the hell? Why did I sign on to this? <laughs> but why? why? Look, first of all, that is what happened here, except yeah, I didn't tell you. But you didn't we lie to me. I knew, I knew what I was getting myself into. I think that's what the thing is. I knew what I was getting myself into. These women did not know what they were getting themselves into. They were lied to. And, and get a, no, I'm not buying that argument at all, at all. You're They're not only, buying it, hold on, you're no, not buying it because of your bias. Yes. My bias for what? Your bias is TV, internet, it's the same thing. I don't understand why people think TV is so much better. No, so, no, no, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. These women are saying, I would have whored myself out and done the exercise in my bikini if more people saw it. But since only a limited amount of guys saw it, well, no, then I, was, I didn't sign up for that kind of whoring out. Yeah. That makes no sense. No, 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 no way. Don't make me pound the gavel against them. Jake, so you're You're saying, pushing me in the other direction. I can't believe you're defending these douchebags in Turkey right now. <laughs> no, I okay. can't believe it. They, All right, we got TYT lie. Supreme Court. TYT Supreme Court. Kick it. Kick it. J.R. Jackson, Jesus Godoy. The situation is we have uh, these women, they signed up to go on TV, okay? They thought they were going to go on They thought they were going on TV, and they said, all right, go get in your bikinis. And then exercise and do all these things, and we're taping you. They find out later that it's they're not on TV; they're actually on the internet, and dudes are paying to see them in their bikinis, etc. They flip out and want to leave. Now, at that point, the guys are 100 percent wrong because they don't let them leave. We we're past that. The question is: Is it outrageous that the guys, you know, ask them to uh, trick them into being on the internet? Do they have a right beef on this instead of being on television? They were. Specifically told they'd be on TV? Yes. And they're only on the internet? Yes. And they didn't know that guys are paying yes. to watch them shake their boobies? They did not know that. 
I don't know. That's kind of straightforward to me. You, you're on Anna's side. Dave. Well, I mean, and what's what's the distortion that you think they shouldn't complain? Is that the, the yeah? Thing? I yeah. think I think they they shouldn't complain. Sad day for you. Okay. Oh, so you wanted to show your boobs to Jay, a larger Jay. percentage of the people, oh. and you wanted to get more fame for it, and you didn't. So what? So less people saw it, and you didn't get famous, but you signed up to show yourself in a bikini. Well, it's kind of like signing up for Playboy, and then when the girl gets on Playboy, they actually find out that it's not Playboy. It's some offshoot magazine that a thousand people checked out, and she's only going to get paid $5 now. No, no, no. But 250000 No, but the money's no different. No, the money's no different. So then you find out you got paid $250,000, and that dude and a couple of his friends looked at it. Yeah, okay, it feels sucks. a little skeevier. I hear you, right? But the 250 is a 250. You were willing to show it to more people. But you, what you lost was the exposure that you were supposed to have. Because okay. reality all TV right. stars get, all of a sudden, they have 10 yeah. more things. I don't know. Uh, that's, that's the that's thing. Th that's that's a, hold on. Let me just say one thing. That's the thing. They thought they were going to get famous. That's the key word here. They were doing this to become famous. And I love that they got rooked on that. I'm sorry. But if you're going to whore yourself out for fame and then you get rooked, you want me to have sympathy for you? Yes. No. You no. can't have people lie to you like that. No. It, again. it would be like someone lying to you. Uh, okay, just an example. It would be like CNN coming to you and saying, hey, we want you to be on our TV show, uh -huh. right? And you sign a contract and everything, and then you find out that you're not on TV at all. You're on their website. Schwang, wang, wang. Who oh, cares? Get out of here. I don't, <laughs> I, mean, I don't believe you. And you besides, be I'm not whoring myself out. I'm doing the same thing either way. Okay? So, look. My problem, if you say they got a good contract claim, I hear you, you know. But if you're saying that they are some, like, I should be morally outraged by what happened to them, hell no. Hell no. Okay. Hey, Seuss, final vote. Um, I was leaning towards Anna, and JR took me over, man. You, you, you have a weak case, Mr. Uger. Oh, wow. All right. Okay, wow. look. This is the first time. Hey, when you're outruled, you're outruled, man. There's no way around it. Okay, I lose. Uh, you should be morally outraged at what these poor women had to go through in their bikinis. If they had just gotten more guys to, you know, yeah. be interested in them. If, if they had uh, been told the truth from the very beginning, this wouldn't be a problem. Okay. All right, there you have it. Look, man, I, I, well, I, there's no way around it. I got outvoted. I'm willing to accept the judgment of the people. That's how I roll.